Hey. <coughs> hey, what's up, guys? Joe here, and welcome to 365 Web X. So, today I'll be showing you guys how to fix the system compatibility report or aka known as unsupported video driver now uh this is a screenshot of after effect and this is also particular with premiere pro and most especially premiere pro because a lot of people um use premiere pro more than after effects so what first of all what is the cause of this um uh, of this uh message well since 20 i think 2018 or 2019 uh when premiere pro you know rolled out their uh products Premiere Pro, Adobe, that is Adobe Premiere Pro, and uh, uh, sorry, what am I saying? Since uh, 2018 or 19, when Adobe rolled out uh, uh, new um, updates of the Premiere After Effects and other products, even Photoshop, people started getting this message, message and to date, um this 2022 a lot of people are still facing the same issue and uh, it doesn't matter if you're using a very high-end uh, graphic card or a computer with uh, a high uh, end or expensive graphic card you still might get this message for some reasons uh, that I can't explain right here and so um, uh, to fix this problem a lot of people have written to Adobe and to try and fix this problem Adobe have published um, a solution on their website but when you ask a lot of people come back to say they've tried um, the solution that Adobe uh, provided on their website but it does not it does not work and I, I've got um, a solution for you a permanent working solution and what could that be let's get straight into the video as I show you how well um, I've resolved my but I have let me put Adobe back down here uh oh okay so this is what you have to face when using uh, let's close this um using a high-end um <laughs> computer should i say oh uh oh okay you have this and uh, let's see what we've got here let me rearrange this this way okay let's say something like this so you have uh when you launch adobe that mes message showed and then um even when you you click uh continue with a known error it still shows the warning bar around somewhere here now to show you that I've fixed my, I'm going to close Adobe completely and I'm going to relaunch it. It's launching on my other window. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to bring it back here. So it has launched. So what I was getting before is when I launch Adobe Premiere Pro, I get this um, message that says um, that displays the error, the incompatibility uh, um, 
message or unsupported video driver message and then i click on continue with known issues uh, but after doing what i'm about to show you now that message uh, disappeared or the error disappeared and i no longer see it now um, the first thing you want to do is make sure that if for, for some reason for some people you would have to update your premiere pro so you you would have to get the latest version of premiere pro but what about if um, that does not fix the problem well then you um there's a link i've put uh you know uh in the description of this video so you go ahead and click on that video and it what it does is it takes you to uh intel uh website where you um download um uh intel driver and support assistant yeah so you click on the link it takes you to intel um this, this is the link all right so first of all you are you let let's click here okay on entire logo there so it brings you to this website okay so uh, sorry that's not what I'm looking for so so you click on that and then it brings you to this uh window um but it takes you to where by the way it's going to take you straight to where you download it okay but i just want to show some of you who you know i, I just want to go in depth on uh, you know what you you get you make sure you are uh, uh downloading from intel website so as you can see here it says intel.com so i'm going to click on support right here so um and when you click here it brings you to this uh, sorry to this um uh, window right I mean you hover you click there and it brings you to it opens this um whatever it's called i can't call this a window uh, this drop down here and you can either auto update your drivers or you click on download center so now we are uh in the download center for um of intel so now you can go ahead and click on drive graphics if uh you want and then come on uh, open so now it brings you to this window where you can look for the latest uh drivers for your uh system and install so right here i'm using uh purposefully i'm using um a dell latitude e5530 uh, it's uh, pretty old um, but this trick uh, this trick worked for me uh, which is why I'm making this video to show you that this works with uh, older version of Windows okay because this problem mostly is found on older versions of Windows but a lot of people have tried to fix it but it didn't work it has never worked and uh, for me um, by doing this it worked so you look for the latest driver and install but if not um, i i advise that you follow uh, what i did and uh, install okay so here you have this url so inter.com slash content slash www slash us slash 
en which stands for english slash support slash intel dash drivers dash support dash assistant dot html so this link is where you're going to uh be dealing with so it brings you to this window where you click here and download so currently this driver this uh, software or this driver uh, this assist uh, intel driver and support assistant driver it's on our software it's like the software driver it's on version 15 point uh, 33 okay um and you can see it's for latitude e 5530 which is a non v pro uh, computer and the bio is this you can see the motherboard everything it's here okay and um, if you, if you're not um if this is not uh, does not apply to you okay this is my own computer uh, uh, it of course automatically detects uh, your computer and gives you the version that you're supposed to download uh, when you click on that it takes you to uh, the version you're looking for and then you click on download here and then you it downloads to your computer you run it install it of course i believe everyone knows how to install downloads software or a, um, a driver or uh, or a plugin whatever uh, on the internet and install so you download install and it when it finishes it asks you to reboot reboot uh, is it reboot your computer go ahead and reboot when it comes back up launch premiere pro and you have it without the message all right another thing to do is after doing that but you're still getting the same message this is what you do come to edit preferences genera okay let me repeat that process go to edit preferences genera and go down you see where it says show system compatibility issues at startup normally it's checked uncheck it and click ok and you won't see that message ever again all right so guys thank you for watching that is how you fix the um uh unsupported video driver in premiere pro or after effect or uh what's it called uh or photoshop or any adobe uh, product or even any from any software okay especially for those systems or computers that have intel drivers okay intel hd graphics drivers okay so that is how you solve that problem thank you guys for staying with me and of course if you do enjoy this video or it does help you please i beg you to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the notification button so that when there's a video there's a new video from us you will be the first to get uh, to to watch it okay thank you and see you next time bye, -bye.